take a look at the internet and its application in management information systems. The internet is a worldwide collection of millions of computers and networks of all sizes. The term internet is derived from the term internetworking, which means connecting networks. Simply put, the internet is a network of networks. The internet started in 1969 as a U.S. Department of Defense project called the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, or ARPANET. The connected four nodes, the University of California at Los Angeles, the University of California at Santa Barbara, Stanford Research Institute, and Stanford University in California, and the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. Other nodes, composed of computer networks from universities and government laboratories, were added to the network later. In 1987, ARPANET evolved into the National Science Foundation Network, which was considered the first internet backbone. The Internet Backbone is a foundation network linked with fiber optic cables that can support very high bandwidth. The World Wide Web, the Web, changed the Internet in 1989 by introducing a graphical interface into the largely text-based Internet. The Web organizes information by using hypermedia, meaning documents that include embedded references to audio, text, images, video, and other documents. Composed of billions of hypermedia documents, the web constitutes a large portion of the internet. The embedded references in hypermedia documents are called hypertext. They consist of links users can click to follow a particular thread. Any computer that stores hypermedia documents and makes them available to other computers on the internet is called a server or web server, and computers requesting these documents are called clients. The most exciting feature of the web is that hypermedia documents can be stored anywhere in the world, so users can jump from one site in the United States to a site in Paris, France in just a few milliseconds. Domain names such as IBM.com or WhiteHouse.gov are unique identifiers of computer or network addresses on the internet. When information is transferred from one network to another, domain names are converted to IP addresses by the Domain Name System DNS protocol. You see domain names used in Uniform Resource Locators URLs, also called Universal Resource Locators, to identify a web page. A URL is the address of a document or a site on the internet. The TLD denotes the type of organization or country the address specifies. Many new GTLDs have been proposed, including .aero, aviation industry, .museum, .law, and .store. In addition, most countries have geographic domains. These CCTLDs include .au for Australia, .ca for Canada, .fr for France, .jp for Japan, and .uk for the United Kingdom. Now, internet address names can end with almost any word in any language, giving organizations around the world the opportunity to market their brands, products, or causes in new and creative ways. There are several methods for connecting to a network, including the internet. These methods include dial-up, cable modems, as well as digital subscriber lines, DSLs. Organizations often use T1 or T3 lines. These are provided by their telephone company and are capable of transporting the equivalent of 24 conventional telephone lines using only two pairs of copper wires. T1 uses two pair of copper wires to carry 24 simultaneous conversations called channels and has one transmission.